Got another set of questions for the Alkenes in Edition Polymers playlist. And as always, the link to the questions in the description of the video if you want to try them first. Okay, so make a start. So what's a number of unsaturated, so C double bond C in this case, uh, isomers, structural and stereo, that have the molecular formula C4H8? So you could have but one ene you can have but 2 ene and there's the E form and the Z form for that. And you can have 2-methylpropene, so the answer was 4, so it's B. Next one, you'll notice I've put up a sort of mechanism for the reaction of an alkene with bromine, just to explain which one of these is the right answer. So you can see this curly arrow represents the movement of a pair of electrons from the pi bond. Uh, this curly arrow represents the movement of a pair of electrons from this covalent bond here. This curly arrow represents the movement of a lone pair of electrons. So the answer is B, the movement of a pair of electrons. Next one, what's a systematic name for this compound? So first thing we'll do is establish the longest continuous carbon chain. One, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to be a hexene of some description. The double bond is at the start of the chain, so it's a hex one ene We've got an OH group at carbon number one, two, three. So it's a three-ol. And we've got a methyl group at carbon number four. So the answer is B, four methyl, hex one n three-ol. Next one, what's the general formula of the dienes? So alkanes, CNH2 and plus two. Alkene, we lose the plus two because of the double bond, so it's CNH2N. Well, therefore, a diene with its extra double bond, we need to lose another two, so it's going to be CNH2N minus two. So the answer this time is C. Moving on to the next one, you'll see I've drawn up the monomer in this format here. So what have we got? We've got CH2, double bond, CH, CH2OH, so it's option A. Next question, so the mechanism, so I've already put the dipole on the HBr molecule, slightly positive on the hydrogen, slightly negative on the bromine, take a pair of electrons from the double bond and bring it towards the delta positive hydrogen and we break that bond by heterotic fission. Now because they want us to form this product, we've got to put the hydrogen, the new hydrogen on this carbon here. So the Br, remember, becomes a Br minus and to finish the mechanism off, we just need to take a pair of electrons from that lone pair on the Br- minus to the carbon with the positive charge, obviously it forms that covalent bond there. Name of the mechanism is electrophilic addition. Part P now, so just a memory test for the definition. Structural isomer, molecules with the same molecular formula, with different structural formula. And the last question, so there's a reminder of what compound A looked like. Basically all we need to do is switch the H and the Br round. 